Let's go over new details for Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now today's details come directly from Entertainment Weekly, so it's very interesting because they gave us new details of Cantabite and the planet itself. Now a couple of weeks ago we learned the official name of this planet and that is of course Cantonica or Cantonica. A lot of us fans, including myself, were very, very confused as to how you pronounce the name of this planet. Well, now, thanks to Anthony Bresnikan and director Ryan Johnson, we learned just that, and it is indeed pronounced Cantonica. Very, very nice tone. I like the name of it. I like how it flows when you say it. Cantonica, it's like harmonica. I like it. Now, when it comes to Cantabite, the city of Cantabite, we also learned that it attracts a lot of rich people, a lot of famous people, and this whole planet itself is in the middle of nowhere within the galaxy. It is pretty much essentially near the Outer Rim. It is way out there. Now, when it comes to the city itself, it is indeed the only city on Cantonica. The rest of the planet is a red, dusty planet. And this leads me to believe that this is indeed Supreme Leader Snoke's planet because his planet is said to be red and dusty with snow and all of this different, you know, kind of uh, pieces of atmosphere that really kind of give you like a villainous feel when it comes to Supreme Leader Snoke. Now, when I'm looking at Cantonica, and when I'm looking at the city of Cantabite, we do know that Snoke is obsessed with wealth. I believe that there's a great possibility that he could be the one running this casino city on his planet that attracts a lot of famous people, a lot of rich people, etc. So it is very interesting to know, coming straight from EW, that this city itself on Cantonica is the only city on this planet. It also has a great body of water by it for ferries to come back and forth to transport people. That's how Finn and Rose will actually enter the city and essentially embark on their mission to find the man in black. Now, aside from everything from EW, we learned a little bit more about the casino and what's going on in there. And they do gamble when it comes to a little thing called fall the air races. In case you guys have no idea what the fall the airs are, those are the horses that you do see in The Last Jedi that Finn and Rose will be riding. They actually do take one from a jockey. It's very, very interesting stuff. But there will be fall the air races within the main casino within Canto Bight. And that is their way of essentially winning and betting and all of that. It is indeed the major way of gaming within the city of Cantabite is the fall the air races. Now we will see different games being played within this city of Cantabite. So it's going to be very interesting to see what else they could be doing. How amazing would it be if they were to do a little, something a little unique, but something a little reminiscent to that of pod racing, perhaps. We did see a lot of different land speeders and different little speeders that looked very, very prequel-ish in a set for Star Wars The Last Jedi that leaked a couple of months ago over in Dubrovnik, Croatia. We saw those, they looked like pod racers, so hey, for all we know, we could have fall the air races like we already do have, and maybe even some pod races as well, or something at least similar to it. So it's going to be very intriguing to see what this is going to look like on screen. I cannot wait to see The Last Jedi and to see this whole side of the story. I am pumped. So yeah, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.